The Great Lakes watershed contains thousands of lakes and rivers. Together, they comprise nearly a quarter of all fresh water on our planet. One river holds a globally important secret, and it's being uncovered by an unexpected friendship between two Canadian scientists. One third of all Canada's freshwater native mussel species are found in the Ottawa River, just northeast of the Great Lakes. Dr. Andre Martel has devoted his life to trying to understand the role they play in nature. Andre's research partner is Jill Heinerth, one of the world's most experienced cave divers. Not a career for the faint-hearted. Jill cut her teeth diving in caves in Florida, in some of the most dangerous environments on Earth. A lot of people ask me, why on Earth would you want to go into a water-filled conduit you know, through the earth, often these branching tunnels and passageways far from anywhere where you could get help. You know, I'm eternally curious, but I want uh, my efforts and the risks that I take underwater um, to have value, value for society, value for scientists. I've been inside icebergs in Antarctica, I've been under the Sahara Desert, I've been in the Ural Mountains of Siberia, and all over the place, inside an active volcano, swimming through lava tubes, but I think this place is incredibly special. Andre and Jill are on the banks of the Ottawa River. But there is a recently discovered world beneath their feet. The largest underwater cave system in Canada. Andre knows that native mussels live on the nearby riverbed. He wants to know what life, if any, is hidden inside these caves. Water flow is strong, so it, it's a tricky place to dive in. The hazards of cave diving are something Jill Heinerth is all too familiar with. I've lost more than 100 colleagues and friends in the course of my career to cave diving accidents and technical diving accidents. So, to go on a cave dive for me, it has to be worth it. There has to be some positive impact that my documentation or research can offer to scientists and to humanity. And Jill, as a cave diver, she is a witness of the life forms inside. And we know very little, so little about these caves, and that's why we're here to study, and we've got years of work to do. But the most significant discovery is the vast numbers of native mussels, millions of them. When the freshwater mussels are abundant, you know that, it, that things are going rather well in your water. They're, they're telling us a story, and that's the story of, of an ecosystem that's healthy or not. So far, 10 kilometers of underwater cave system have been discovered beneath the Ottawa River. It could stretch for hundreds more. They form part of what some call the Sixth Great Lake, the vast flow of water through the rock. Here there are millions of mussels in the Ottawa River right behind me, and each and every one of them filters uh, liters of water each day, up to two liters an hour times 24 hours throughout the season, months of it, and they live decades old. The flow of water from the Ottawa River can exceed that of all the Great Lakes combined. Its muscle-filtered water helps to dilute human-caused pollution in the largest estuary on our planet, the Gulf of St. Lawrence, helping to nourish the water for one million seals, vast colonies of seabirds, and 14 species of whale. all helped by the humble muscles that Andre and Jill's friendship have helped to reveal. <laughs>